Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna talk about breaking down the best prompts for architecture that I could see here. And this, supposed, this is supposed to be a trend of several videos where weekly I can go through new architecture images or videos that are being created and we can break down the process of how are they using the prompts and how can you use it to create your own images. Um, just a quick overview. And this channel is mainly for architecture that wants to explore AI and the latest technologies such as real-time engine to uh, make it part of the visualization and representation process. Along that, we'll sometimes we will also uh, go through AI tools that you can use to make your process faster like ChatGPT or Gemini. So stay tuned if you want to, you know, learn about AI and be related to architecture. So, oh yeah, let's start with the video now. So. First of all, uh, all these uh, references are gonna come directly from Midjourney. Um, I found that Midjourney has some of the most of the best atmospheric environments for architecture. So feel free to use the same method for whatever AI tool you're using, whether it's Kriya or any other thing or Ideogram or whatever it is that you use. But you can pretty much break down the same method. So it's something you wanna start kind of getting a habit of is going to explore uh, page here and you will see all the new creations that are being put together by other artists. And it's great to sometimes see what other artists are coming with, you know, to kind of see what, what is it that, what, what prompt that you're using, how are they structuring things? Because I know like there's like a good way to do it, but you know, like if you come to this one, you can pretty much use the same text and then arrange it towards kind of what you want to show. So for instance, I really like the setup of these one, really like the tree. So I can kind of go to the prompt and use the text here and rearrange the text towards whatever I want to use. So for instance, if I say cinematic 8K photo of a European Cuban park. So let's say, let's say New York park in futuristic capitalist uh, Manhattan. Wide, 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 wide marble walkway, colonial, uh, say futuristic. And again, uh, but I'm just showing you uh, style prompts, pastel icon. To, let's say just keep it like that, right? And then you can do that. And then we'll automatically create the prompt for you. But that's what I'm telling you guys. Like you can reuse the prompt, adjust it to where what you want out of that. And then you can adjust also the with that how I actually adjusted with my own thing. So let's say so if I actually use the text again, but I take out my personalized thing and say the same here, New York, Manhattan, and they just call it that. You're gonna see that potentially we're gonna get two different styles because one was with my own uh, personalization. Uh, settings and the other one was with the just general mid journey thing. So you want to make sure you have not turn on your own select personalizations, but actually the mid journey one. So, oh, look at this. This is actually pretty nice. Look at what he created. Isn't this beautiful? And it does kind of relate to what it was before, right? So it looks a little bit more like the thing. So you see how can you use the prompt? So now we're going to go through my prompts that I found. So just before we go into that really quickly, I really want this to be a short video. Uh, for you to start kind of, not just kind of going to the exploration page and yeah, sometimes you will find architecture and stuff, but for it to be much faster, you can go to the search bar here and just type architecture and you will see how they all pop up. And it could just be other things, design, you can say building, all right? You can say interior design, all right? So, you can kind of adjust the, the setting to whatever is like you are looking for. You can potentially say living room, right? And it will give you a bunch of living rooms. You can say patio and it will give you a bunch of patios, right? So that's something that you wanna know. Hey buddy. So now let's go to the ones that I actually found. So here there's four that I kind of, five that I actually wanna go over with you. Hey buddy. Um, okay, so let's go with the first one here. Um, Feel free to do this, but I kind of break it down. I'll include these ones here. This is just kind of a breakdown, so you can kind of copy paste and then kind of add your own thing here. Building, I'll say, 
building type. And then in blue is kind of what you need to kind of fill out. So for instance, in this one here, for this style, and I kind of turn into more schematic here, the first ones, and then the last one's kind of a little bit more photorealistic. So on this one here, the, one, the main things that you really wanna use is the 3D wire view. You might wanna uh, change your own artist or architect or style that you want. Uh, but you really want the, that along with the, art, the building type or, you know, a sculptural, futuristic, modern, contemporary, you know, cottage, whatever it is that you want to say, and then being constructed in Maya, right? So you want to keep that, right? Or not, I, I decided to delete that, but I just kind of highlighted kind of what I want to sort of keep. So for instance, what I thought important for the look of it is the keeping the nerves and the polygonal breakdowns visible, the dark interface thing, dramatic lighting, create using Maya waterframe renderings, architectural tech, visual language, interface simulation gradient scheme. But then the last part, you could potentially add all the details. So so you kind of make it your own and you can actually have more control on what type of building you're actually creating because this is very, again, very Sahadi future, futuristic, but you wanna have something that is more completely different, right? Like a residence or a commercial building. The idea is like you can exchange these things here but it's still kind of trying to get the same look because you're still using the same, a lot of the same prompt. All right, so that's the first one. Uh, again, a lot of them are gonna, a lot of these uh, prompts here that you can use are, are gonna be saved back in the description below. So, okay, second one here. Again, this is a very nice look here. A lot more, a very sketch, you know, kind of watercolory. So this one here, you might wanna start with a computer generated architecture rendering and then you will describe the scene, right? Of a modern cathedral in Sugar Spires, like as well as towers. So that's where you wanna add your own description to the building. And then here, I just highlighted that one because that's maybe something that you wanna include to your prompt if you have like a more commercial building or even like residential, but you wanna add people walking, right? Because that's like the nice thing about these style is that you can have that nice urban environment. So yeah, you have uh, dozens of clearly walking people, some bicycle, riding bicycles, trees, urban street elements around, white paper background, right? So that's where you get the white paper background here. Digital concept sketch, style elevations, realistic human proportions, high clarity animation, friendly frame. So that's pretty much it. I'm sure you can test out whether or not you want the text or anything, and you can see if you can kind of adjust one of these ones here. So it doesn't give you the that, but here's what I'm copying it, and you can copy this one. And you know, again, just change the description, the, the building type and all these things that, and make it your yours. But those are the ones that you wanna kind of grab and these are very nice style here. This one here, it's very similar to the other one, right? So this one here, the only thing I really, and then the next ones here are really gonna be a lot simpler because it's a lot about you. I think the red ones are really what you wanna make sure you include in the prompt just to make sure you kind of get like a, a similar style. So you just wanna make sure you get the hand sketch and you wanna get the natural light, right? And uh, yeah, other than that, as you can see, it's like just describing a scene, right? Luxury hotel lobby, front along public road, modern landscape design of a long drop off. So this is nothing special on the prompt except for just describing the scene. Hand sketch, then you have the style, right? Describe style and, and or artist architect. If you have one, or you just put like style, or you want a watercolor, whatever it is that you want, or you just, you know, natural light, you wanna make sure you put natural light or your settings that you want. And then I did include large landscape you wanna cut surrounding a new modern series. Again, that's that's pretty much it, but you wanna make sure you include the natural light and the hand sketch. Um, and then here are the other settings if you want to play with it, right? Like you have to make sure like you, I mean, this is what you see in V7, style raw, 69, Chaos 5 and Stylize 200. So that's why I make sure you kind of try to kind of get the same settings. Let's go to the next one here. This one here has, again, you can tell it's not perfect. You can tell it's making a lot of little mistakes here, right? It, this is just more for purpose reason, like for you to understand maybe just to kind of give some, this to someone and say like, hey, I want it like that. Like I want to kind of get that like this and show this to the client kind of like this, like more like a board that we can create more as a general, description, but again, it's nothing really that complicated in the sense like, once you start kind of break it down, what is that, what are the main words they are using? For instance, here you have the architectural design concept, right? That's the one you wanna make sure that you add. Then you add pretty much as the, the building type, 
right? You want to make sure include the building type there. And then you say includes both 3D Massey and detail label floor plan modern, right? Well, you don't have to put modern, but floor plans. And then here it's its own, again, style here. Describe building type and location, vernacular efficient style building located near Luz River side surrounded by greenery, lower, lower features. And then you have floor plans and rooms, kitchen, cold storage, and stop zone. And then you pretty much just describe what each floor plan has, or, or at least the one that you wanted to show has, right? I want to make sure you say image shows realistic architectural massing with pitch roof. Well, not that, but like architectural massing. Architectural massing. Then you describe the materials from here, and maybe you see here it says that with pitch roofs, but there's no pitch roofs here. So you can tell that the guy did not really get what he wanted. He got a really nice rendering, but there's definitely not pitch roofs here. So that's what I'm saying. Like you'd really need to start testing these things and make sure like it's giving you what you want. And it's not like you're just gonna click one time; it's gonna give you exactly what you want, but it's something that you're gonna have to be testing the prompt, but this is a good foundation of a good place to start. Uh, and then you really wanna make sure you are at the warm gold hour, lighting human scale, blah, 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 blah. And then you copy that and then you add the materials. You wanna make sure you add the building type. M most of them you're gonna have to add the building type, the building scene, the environment scene, and the materials somewhere along the prompt for you to get the best results. And then the last one here, uh, this one here is more for realistic. I really like this one. I pretty much will reuse this whole prompt, except that I will add the building type and the building style and the scene, just because this one here kind of seemed like whoever did this one, you know, minimalism. I, I guess you can change that word, minimalism, to something maybe different, like a building, like, you know, something different. You can change that too. Um, but yeah, I mean, in general, you want to make sure you, you add the building type and the, and the, and the building scenes to this. But I like the style. It doesn't really thing. It just says high detail, natural quality, you know. But it, it, that's what I'm telling you, guys. Like from the beginning, Mid Journey was already giving you really good images. It's just a matter of maybe adding those fewer words as saying just concept sketch, for realistic, or detail, high detail. And Mid Journey pretty much will do a lot of the work for you. But where the meat and potatoes are, are really in, in the description of the building type, the, the type of scenes. So a quick tip that I have for you guys is that whenever you guys are ready to put a prompt together, the good thing is to, I mean, I think something I would suggest is to get a picture in, whether it's in Mid Journey or, or Pinterest that you already like, that it's close to your style. So for instance, you want a um, farmhouse, right? Uh, so let's say you really like this one. Right, so at least the style of the architecture, you can literally uh, either or copy whatever it's describing if it seems like it's something that is describing it well, like white siding with wood, accents, black metal roof. With, so you see how the description is good. So you can copy that and add that, maybe do a little modifications, but that's already a very good description. You can, from a picture that you like, you can upload it. All right, I'm just gonna upload any image here. You can upload any image and, and drop it to the drop image to describe and it will automatically create a prompt for you. And you can use a lot of those prompts to complete your actual prompt that you're using just because it's kind of based in a style and things and you can from there edit it, all right? So those are the two benefits that I will do is like, I will say just generate the, the prompt that makes sure you have the building type, the building style and the materials just because that's gonna give you more control over the image. So that, it's all I have for you guys. I'm gonna to try to do some of these weekly so we can kind of really break down the prompts. If you guys like that, let me know. Otherwise, just give me another idea. Please subscribe and...